Fermentation is the transformative action of microorganisms. Every fermentation process amounts to a simple manipulation of environmental conditions to encourage the growth of some kind of organism rather than some other kind of organism. I was invited by some friends of mine to teach a sauerkraut making workshop at their family homestead. That was when I learned that in our culture there is a nearly universal fear of aging food outside of refrigeration and that um, you know, almost everybody is terrified that they might accidentally uh, make somebody sick, they might accidentally kill someone. So um, you know, that's when I realized that there was, a, there was a hunger for this information and a lot of fear and uh, a need for demystification. Sauerkraut is made you know, in, in infinite variation throughout the, you know, the regions where it's a popular food. People add lots of different spices and fruits to augment the cabbage. It's easier to use a jar with a wide mouth than to use a jar with a very narrow mouth. Another material that's wonderful to work with is ceramic. Ceramic crocks, uh, there's the you know, old fashioned, you know, simple cylindrical open crocks. Uh, that I work with um, uh, mostly at home. Um, Robin brought us this, this really nice, elegantly designed uh, German crock called a harsh crock. And each time you think that you have filled up the vessel, you want to put it down somewhere and press down, or you could use a nice tool like this and really get it. So everyone get an idea of uh, what I mean when, I'm, when I say submerged under liquid, like that. And then we'll stuff some more vegetables in it. In fermentation, we are cultivating the growth of microorganisms. And, uh, you know, we're trying to, uh, you know, guide which populations of microorganisms are growing and, um, uh, and to some degree to control the, the, the rate of growth of, of the microorganisms. What I love about kefir is it's easy. When you make yogurt, there's this additional step of a Streptococcus thermophilus. Thermophilus is our hint that um, you, need to, um, you need to incubate the, the yogurt at an elevated temperature. You have to you know, contrive some way to keep it around 110 degrees Fahrenheit um, for several hours in order to get that nice coagulation. With kefir, nothing like that. You just, uh, you just put a couple of spoonfuls of the grains into a quart jar, pour some milk over them, 